Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand the concept of clock jitter. It's quite interesting. We'll understand a real-time scenario and then we'll make an analogy to understand clock jitter. Assume that you are studying in a college and you indeed are and you have each lecture of one hour each. After every one hour, the college bell will go which will signify that lecture one is over and lecture two needs to be started or teacher one who was teaching in the classroom needs to leave and teacher two needs to enter. The bell signifies the period which is of one hour each. And here we will make an assumption that both your teachers would need one hour to complete their respective part of the syllabus and if they don't get that one hour they would not be able to do justice to that part of the syllabus. Now we are all set to understand jitter. Presume that one day in the college the bell is not ringing or the bell has malfunctioned. In this case both the teachers will trust their respective watches to enter the classroom. Let's understand the scenario. Teacher 1 has her watch which is 10 minutes late compared to the college watch and teacher 2 has a watch which is 10 minutes early compared to the college watch. So let's understand the scenario. Ideally when the bell was ringing, teacher 1 was entering at 9 am and after 1 hour when the bell would have gone, teacher 2 would have entered at 10 am. Now in the scenario when the bell is not working, the bell or the ring is not working, because teacher 1 has a watch 10 minutes late compared to the college watch, in the college watch it is 9 10 but at that point of time teachers 1's watch is showing 9 am and teachers 2's watch which is 10 minutes early to the college watch correct so her watch is showing 9 20 am now remember teacher 1 has technically started her lecture in her watch at 9 am in college watch at 9 10 am and in teachers 2 watch at 9 20 am now what happens is some point of time teachers 2's watch goes to 10 and she thinks that she needs to enter the classroom. At the same point of time the college watch is still showing 9.50. Why? Because teachers 2's watch is ahead by 10 minutes compared to college watch. However at the same time the teachers 1's watch is showing 9.40 only because it is 10 minutes behind the college watch. Now what's happened is teacher 2 has entered the classroom here and teacher 1 does not get one hour which she was looking for to complete the required part of her syllabus. How much time did she actually get? If you see if you compare the college watch also she started at 9.10 and she winded up at 9.50 or she had to wind up at 9.50 which gave her only 40 minutes. Compared to her watch, she started at 9 and she had to wind up at 9.40. Again, she got 40 minutes only. And compared to teachers to whose watch also, she started at 9.20 and she got time till 10, which is again 40 minutes only. What we understood here was, teachers one watch was late by 10 minutes and teachers two's watch was early to 10 minutes compared to the college watch, which gave very little time to the first teacher to complete because she was expecting one hour but she got only 40 minutes and hence she could not do justice to her part of the syllabus. A similar situation happens in digital circuits as well. 